traditional Chinese snacks, and back in the days, people liked to eat them on the Li Chun Day, which is at the beginning of the spring, and they call it Yao Chun to buy the spring. And later, gradually, spring roll just become this food that people would eat them anytime you want. And since spring's coming right up, we're going to make spring rolls. And these are the ingredients. All right, so for the preparation process, we're gonna soak the wujia mushroom in water overnight, and then finely chopped. Oh, by the way, I also have a fun fact about wujia mushroom. In Chinese, we call it mu er. It is high in protein, iron, and also collagen. And Chinese women consider it as a type of beauty food. And when you eat it regularly, it actually helps to promote a healthy, rosy, and also radiant skin. And also, we're gonna soak glass noodles in hot water for about 30 minutes. And then in a hot pan, we're gonna add two tablespoons of oil, two ounces of julienne carrots, two ounces of julienne cabbages, two ounces of half shimeji mushroom, two ounces of finely chopped wujie mushrooms, two ounces of julienne snow peas, and stir fry them until the aroma comes out. Then add two tablespoons of oyster sauce, one teaspoon of soy sauce, a pinch of salt, a pinch of pepper, a pinch of sugar, and a dash of sesame oil. Now just mix well. And then add two ounces of chopped glass noodles and stir fry until combined. And lastly, we're gonna add one teaspoon of cornstarch mixed with one tablespoon of water. The cornstarch water is going to seal the flavor and the juice of the vegetable inside. So it won't be watery while wrapping the spring rolls later. And then mix up, just let it cool, let it cool, let it cool. Let the filling cool down for a little bit so then we can wrap the spring rolls. All right, so now to make the glue in a small bowl, we're gonna add two tablespoons of flour and mix with three tablespoons of water. Now we're gonna lay the wrapper out flat like a diamond shape. Place about two tablespoons of room temperature filling on the spring roll wrapper, about two inches above the bottom corner of the wrapper. And then tightly roll the wrapper and the filling halfway. Fold the left edge over right against the edge of the filling and then fold the right edge over too. So at this point, it almost looks like an open envelope. And then we're gonna fold it up again and seal with the flour mixture. Leave no space or air pockets. Cover all the spring rolls with plastic wrap to prevent drying out. They dry out really easily. And now we're just gonna finish the rest. So then we're gonna pour about two inches of vegetable oil into a heavy bottom pot and heat to about 350 Fahrenheit. So here's a tip. To test and see if the oil is ready, throw in a tiny piece of wrapper in the pot. And if the piece flew right up, it has little bubbles all around it, then it's ready. So now let's fry the spring rolls a few at a time. And we can turn them over frequently so that they brown evenly. When they reach an even golden brown color, transfer the spring rolls on a paper towel and allow them to drain. Repeat with the rest of the spring rolls.
Okay, so our spring rolls are ready. I'm just gonna cut one up and see what is happening inside. Ooh, look at that. It's so crunchy and inside is very, very beautiful. Let's give it a try. This is actually really perfect. Um, I mean, spring is coming right now, so I hope that all of you try out this recipe. It's like full of favorite inside, a lot of ingredients. And comment below and let me know what other recipes you want to learn in the spring or any other seasons. And I'll see you in the next episode. Bye!